Hi everybody and welcome to another Troikatronics mini tutorial for Isidore. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn about blind mode. Blind mode allows you to edit inactive scenes without affecting the currently active scene or the video output. It's super useful when you're rehearsing a show and you don't want to disrupt what is being projected, but you also need to make edits elsewhere. In live mode, that's Isidore's default mode when you open the software, if I click into different scenes, like that, scene two and scene three, back to scene one, uh, you can see that it changes the active scene as well as the video output. Let's go into blind mode now. That'll happen in uh, scenes and blind mode there. And now let's click into scene two. The first thing to note is that the scene list area down here uh, will turn red when you're in blind mode. And uh, the active scene, um, which is scene one right now, stays blue. Uh, that's the scene that controls the, the video output. The scene you're editing in blind shows in red, and that's scene two in our case, and that scene has no impact on the video output. Just two quick notes before we move on. In blind mode, you can still run your cues like usual. So if you need to press go or press the space bar or whatever else you have to trigger cues, you can go ahead and do that. That'll still work. And uh, if you are editing your currently active scene, so if I was editing scene one right now, the changes would happen live as if you were editing in live. Okay, so now let's make a few changes to scene two. So I'll tweak the vertical position of my text. Uh, let's bring the font color to a red. And then let's turn down the intensity of the projector uh, to 50%. And now let's go back to live. So that's scenes and untick blind mode again. Scene one is still showing. And uh, let's go into scene two. And as you can see, the changes that we just made are now active. That's it for blind mode in Isadora. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching and see you next time.